We will study more complex Boolean expressions using truth tables. We will consider quad or quadrivariate expressions, that is, expressions containing four input variables. To convert these to truth tables, it is easiest if these expressions were written in sum of product or SOP form. Such expressions consist of an ORD agglomeration of ANDED terms called product terms. We will label these product terms as T1, T2, etc. I will use conventional algebra to label these terms. A fourth order term consists of the product of all four inputs, inverted or non-inverted, third order terms of three such inputs, etc. We will determine the truth table for the expression shown. To set up the truth table, we have the input columns, the output column, and a column for each of the product terms. We also have one empty column for future use. We proceed term by term. For a quad expression, a fourth order term has a value of 1 in only one row of the truth table. For instance, the term A, B, C bar, D is only equal to 1 when A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1, C is equal to 0, and D is equal to 1. A term that has only one true value in the truth table is called a min term we can label the row according to its min term value. Since each row has a unique min term value, we can use the min terms to relabel the input states of the entire truth table. This is an important idea in forming other, more useful versions of the truth table. For quad expressions, the third order terms are represented by two rows in the truth table. The term a bar c d is equal to 1 when a is equal to 0, c is equal to 1, and d is equal to 1, regardless of the value of b. As min terms, this term corresponds to the two rows containing a bar c and d. Note that these two rows are not adjacent in the truth table. We will later overcome this shortcoming by rearranging the truth table. Second order terms are represented by four rows in the truth table. The term A bar C bar corresponds to the four rows having the input A equals 0 and C equals 0, or equivalently, the four min terms containing a bar and c bar. Finally, each first order term covers eight rows or exactly half of the table. Hence, b bar is represented by the eight rows for which b is equal to zero, or equivalently by the eight min terms containing b bar. For the overall output, we enter 1 if any of the product terms is equal to 1. Then we fill in the zeros. So we obtain the final truth table. We now consider the reverse problem. Given the truth table, can we find a corresponding Boolean expression? One way is to create an expression that contains only the min terms for which the output is 1. This min term expansion is a useful form, but we are usually interested in finding the simplest Boolean expression. Ultimately, the problem is that the product terms are scattered all around the truth table. We will address this problem by presenting an alternative version of the truth table.